Over the last 20 years, progress has been made to ensure 9 out of 10 of the world's children are not in child labor, slavery, or trafficking. However, ending this exploitation for the one child in 10 has proven to be a persistent challenge. Child laborers are mainly from communities that have been discriminated against for generations. They and their families have so few of the world's resources that children have to work so they can survive. In many countries, most child labor is expended in the agricultural sector. Agriculture is one of the most dangerous sectors in terms of work-related fatalities and occupational diseases. About 59% of all children in hazardous work aged 5 to 17 are in agriculture. In Meru County, Kenya, cat farming is the primary agricultural farming system passed on from generation to generation. Wilfred, aged 16, works in the cart, also known as Mira Farms. He has been working in the fields since he was nine. Like other laborers, he wakes up by 5 a.m. to start his day. He works in various farms, plucking and preparing the cart by 10 a.m. before it leaves for the market to major cities. Kunanyesha and lazima tu wende alafu challenges zingine nazo ni kuwa hapa huko muko yani environment si sawa sana kama hapa sasa ukiangalia uko na yani si environment iko safi sana unafanya kwa sababu inabindi ufanya njoo hakuna 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 kitu kingine unafanya kama ni chakula upate njoo huku nitegemea tu ni mira na sasa hizi imeanguka sana kama sasa nimeshikilia hivi nikitukaa 200 eh na bidi sasa tukasaidia wazazi ili ile mpaka ile matumizi yani yasikuwe mingi sana njoo ile pesa mnatumia nini yote Zablon, aged 17 like Wilfred, is also part of cultivating cats because the proceeds and contribute to the upkeep of their families. Phineas, aged 17, is a survivor. Kwa majina naitwa Phineas Mutoi aka Prospera. Ikazi ya Mira nilianza kuifanya nikuwa class 5. Sasa hii niko form 3. 
Umenisaidia ndio kwa sababu kama hii pigipigi ila sasa inapata kama December ni long holiday. Na sasa pesa kidogo na sasa kwa kapito sako mpaka nikafikia umri kwa junior seven account. Mpaka pesa ikawa nyingi nikaambia madhee nitumie entry yake kuchukua loan. Nikachukua 50,000 nikanunua hii kama second hand. Ni from pesa ya mira na tunda kilo moja na lipo 200. Eh mambo ya kukataa kwenda shule ya mira ndio hiyo imechangia sana hii eneo. Lakini unajua mira ndio uti wa mgongo hii area. Tuseme kama mzazi ametunda mira ile pesa ya mira atatumia kukata fee kwa shule. Sasa hata kama kuna wale hawaendi wanafanya kazi huku ya, ya mira watoto wengi sana ndio hawaendi shule. Eh, wanafanya hii kazi ya mira kama asubuhi lakini italingana na vile familia iko si kwa uzuri hata saa hii wenye miaka kumi wanashiriki hii kazi ya mira lakini kuna yale mashinda ambayo yanawasuguma kufanya hiyo kazi mashinda mengi sana tuseme kama watoto mayatima unajua kama mtoto amelala ame jaa lazima asubuhi aende atafuta riziki hata kuna wale wanaamka asubuhi wanaenda kufanya hii kazi ya mira na kitu kama saa mbili hivi wanaenda shuleni wajua wamechelewa hata watoto naomba wale ambao wa, wa, wameweka kitita cha pesa shule ikifunguliwa Burundi shule kawaida unajua kama tumesoma hii mira yetu kama tumesoma tungefikia majuu kuitetea kwa president soko ifunguliwe Somalia kwa hivyo tunahitaji masomo ili kupiga hii ukulima jeki bwana sasa wenzangu hata shule ikifunguliwa turunde shule tu tusome tupate ile maarifa ya kutetea ukulima wa mira mira yetu tuwe tunauza hata huko Europe America unajua masomo ndio kila kitu Before the sun rises, David Wesonga, aged nine, leaves their home in Korokosho, a sprawling informal slum settlement for the country's biggest disposal point to help his mother, a casual laborer, get some income. For the past two years and during this pandemic, without coronavirus's protective gear, David digs through freshly discarded waste, collecting what he deems valuable, from scrap metals to plastic bottles, depositing them into separate bags to sell onto collectors 
who are positioned around the dump site. The last born in a family of four earns one dollar a day, which he splits into two. He contributes half a dollar to the household and the other half he saves. Like David, other children are also working in the dump sites. Coming from vulnerable families that depend on the dump site for survival, they have been forced to work to support their families. By and large, this is the case of hundreds of children at the dump site. Finding their usual nutrition source is being cut off at home and in schools, they scavenge around in the dump site looking for food. Naito Eric Mbogo, Nikona Miaka 13, Naishi Coach, Nasomea Marura Primary School, Standard 5, Nokjapa Kuhasol, Sababu Mama Jiwezi, Baba Jiwezi, Nasol to Nipatadi Kanza Christmas, Zakbai Manguo, Nikjanikiwa na Miaka 12, Saturday na Sunday. If they had their fair share of resources, laws and protection, we would eliminate child labor for good. An embodiment of those being left behind are the communities that are so marginalized their children are forced to work to survive instead of having a normal childhood.